do is we're going to want to differentiate everything with respect to x. So rather than taking a step and saying I'm going to do d over dx on both sides and then distribute, I am just going to write out d over dx of y cubed plus d over dx of y squared minus d over dx of 5y uh, minus d over dx of x squared equals d over dx of negative 4. And even on the next problem, I'll probably even skip that stuff and just say, hey, I'm going to differentiate d over d with respect to uh, x on this side. So now, again, if we just kind of follow what we did last time, we just have a couple more terms here. This is going to become 3y squared dy over dx plus 2y dy over dx minus 5, oops, sorry, minus, uh, minus 5 dy over dx. And then over here, it's going to be a minus 2x equals 0. OK? So we need to solve for dy dx. That's what we're solving for is dy dx. How are we going to solve for dy dx? Well, just like when you guys had equations, if you need to solve for here, first thing we want to do is get all the y, dy dx's to the same side. So they're all on the left side, so let's keep them there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the 2x to the other side. Okay, To save myself a little bit of time, I, I'm not going to rewrite the whole equation without the 2x. But what I notice here, guys, is I can't combine these. They're not like terms. But what I can do is I do notice that they all have a dy dx. right? So I can factor out a dy dx. And when I factor out a dy dx, I'm left with a 3y squared plus 2y minus 5 equals positive 2x. Right? And you can always check your answer back. Just take dy dx and multiply it back times every single term. You still have the same expression. But do you guys see how I do that? But now I have isolated my dy dx. So to solve, I'm just going to divide by 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. So therefore, my final answer is dy dx equals 2x over 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. And there you go. That's it. All right. So